You beautiful people of the interwebs, this is Glyn. This is a Saturday, it's a wonderful world of games today. Let me turn my mic up a little bit. It's going to be a kiddies game, but this one is free. Oh, of course, all the kiddie games are great for anyone, really, but they're just they're always a little bit less violent, a little bit softer. Softer, it ain't got it, ain't gonna be like Dark Souls or Call of Duty on my kiddie game Saturdays, all right? So, here we go, Snake Pass. And of course, I'll show you where you can get it. And this one's going to be under £1.50. It'll be a good game. Um, so we're going to use controller. It's controller compatible. That's great. Uh, especially as you can get smaller controllers for youngsters. 8-bit um, do actually do, not this one, but they do a little one. Very similar to um, an old SNES controller. Right, there we go. Um, we're just going to go new game. Okay, arcade game, but we're just going to go straight on new game and play it. So of course, you're playing a snake in this game. And I'm trying to remember who makes this, but it's a good company. There's a few companies I really trust. Uh, Team 17 always make good, good quality games. Um, Devolver D Digital. Um, and then you got these guys. Let me just, I can't remember who it is. But they make good games anyway. Maybe I should have done a bit of research before I started the game. I don't know if my... It looks like my OBS is lagging a bit. Hopefully we're all right. Oh, itchy nose. There we go, here's my snake. So you're basically controlling the head of the snake. Oh. Here he goes. Oh, wow, the graphics are really good on this, aren't they? Here he comes. Uh, it looks like we've got to collect these things. Are these making me longer? Are each one of them making me longer? No. <laughs> Great tunes. I do like these. Oh. Pick up speed by slivering. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, I see. If you sliver like a snake, you sliver a bit faster. Okay, we can lift our head. Oh yeah, look at that. Whee! We can do exactly what snakes do. Oh, I'm missing that one. <laughs> look at the way he's going around there. Oh. oh, we're nearly at the end, and I think when we get to the end, I'll show you where you can get this from, and of course, it's going to be from Aniba. <laughs> um, they're pretty much one of the only ones, Aniba and Fanatical are pretty much the only ones I really trust. Do get games off Steam as well, um, when they're on the sales. Tend to show a lot of the free stuff that's on Steam, don't we? Um, what have we got here? I did, I, I did not watch that video, so... How many have we got? We've only got one left to get. Oh, there's a gold coin over there. I am fascinated by the gold coin. It's going really slow for some reason. Oh, that didn't work out for me. I want this gold coin. I'm determined to get this gold coin. But how do I get back? Oh, there we go. Well, there's five of them. Hold on, I want this purple thing as well. Keystone. Okay, that's cool. All oh, right, okay, they had all the keystones to open up the end of the level. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Great stuff. There we go. And I think we're done then. So, let's... Oh, looks like the snake just got obliterated. 
Well, there was five of those gold coins in there somewhere. Well, they're well hidden. So plenty of replayability. Anyway, let's go and check out where we can get this from. Oh, that's the wrong thing. And here we are on Aniba. Unfortunately, it's going to be quite small because... Oh, no, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. Hold on. We, we can do this. Um, where are we? Settings. Screen. I'm just making it a bit bigger for you. There we go. Now we can see it. That's more like it. This is how I'd prefer it. Um, thing is, it's one of those games when it started, it didn't like the upscaled screen resolution, which I usually use. So here we are. We're on Aniba. Don't worry about the £4.5 pence. Come down here, £1.31. Okay. Now, I think I have had it cheaper than that, but £1.31 is a fair old price. That's not too bad at all, is it? It's way under. One, anything under £1.50 is good. Ideally, we want things under a pound, but I'm finding it's quite tricky to find the kids' games um, for less than a pound. That's just what I'm finding. Okay. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe they're more popular, but... Um, yeah, and it's actually getting quite tricky to find games suitable. It's really weird, isn't it? Video games now, it's all based on adult stuff, you know, when I was a kid. Um, I suppose also the games were less violent when I was a kid because you didn't have all of the gore, you know. and You didn't have the graphics like Mortal Kombat and all that. It was all space space shooters and, I don't know, graphics have changed, haven't they, over the years. Uh, yeah, so there's a chilled out game. So let's get back to the game and we'll see what the second level looks like. Oh, it looks like it's adjusted now. Oh, good. Okay. I'm just checking how warm the PC's running while we're running this. That's not too bad. Not too bad. We should make sure that gate key is all right. Uh, okay. So is that essentially it then? Whee! He can go pretty high, can't he? He can snake up pretty high. Um, I want to see if I press escape. No. I press start. I want to see what the um, the settings are. Oh, there are settings up there. I tell you what, we'll quit this for now. I just want to see what settings and um, here we go, options. So I just got the Steam controller on there. There doesn't seem to be any graphic options. That is weird. Oh. Oh, the sc oh, because of the way the screen... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Four point four quality, very high, custom. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking it's still scaling a bit wrong. Well, that looks all right, scales. Doo doo, doo doos. Didn't seem to be a skip on that. Am I all the way back to the start? All the way back to the start, aren't I? Uh. Oh, I thought I'd done it several. Anyway, I'm not going to play much more of it. We've had a little look at it. Great little game. Beautiful graphics. Nice, simple gameplay. Basically, it's just the trigger, an A, and then choose left and right with him. Um, you can move the camera as well, but it does follow the camera, so... Let's see if we can find one of those gold um, coins. I bet there's one up here. Struggling to get up there. Oh, nearly. I bet 
you there's a I bet you there's a coin up here. Oh no no don't fall off. Wow that's pretty tricky. Oh hello, hello, hello. If there's no coin up there, what's over here then? Ha ha ha. I spotted that didn't I? Let's see if we can get this coin. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I just killed Mr. Snakey. <laughs> Turn our snake. There he goes. Did I get the coin? No. Oh god, Snakey's dead again. Wow, they're actually quite tricky to get. Who knew that snakes could be so tricky to control? Wow, he just literally falls off straight away. One more attempt. If I get this coin this time, that'll be it. I wonder if I can reverse engineer this coin. <laughs> it's come from this side. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, that's me out of here. Um, the game itself is pretty easy. It's just that there is that little extra added... I could have put it on easy. Maybe that might have helped. Oh no! Oh, oh I was so close to it then. Right, well, I gotta get out of here. This has been Glyn, Tuesday Gaming. Wonderful world of games. You're watching a bit of Snake Pass. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Stella. Tuesday Gaming, yeah, you know the name. They got the games that won't break the bank So come on over and join the crew They'll show you, they'll show you How to game and save money too Just game gaming, yeah, you know the name They got the games that won't break the bank so